You want to hunt with us? You are not prepared. Grab me like this and try to lift me. Was this over jealousy? So I just saw an orange leg over here. Cool. Hey YouTubians, Joe Blue Falcon here from Seabass. Uh, here, should we say where we are? Yes. We are at Kekabeka Park. Uh, we're here, uh, this, I grew up in this area. Trust me, I know there's a lot of fun things going around on around here, so today we're gonna be seeing what we can find. Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, so I got my chair here so I can't get in crap. I'm gonna sit right there. Um, also why we're here is, uh, we did the ring and then Thunder Bay Paranormal, which is a separate group, who's a sister group of ours, obviously, uh, went out and uh, got the same evidence that we did. So we thought we'd return the favor and do our own uh, investigation here and see what evidence we can get to back up her stuff. I thought that'd be a very, very good idea. And Hi. There he is. Back. He's back. Everybody's asked about him and uh, Blaine Blaze is back. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's, he, Took some time off. I, I took a break. Uh, you want to tell everybody exactly uh, what kicked you in the butt to get you back? Well, the main thing was I was upstairs visiting Dad. He was watching a video. I'm not sure who he's watching. I just kind of came up there and heard one of them on one of the recordings say, "George is back." So I guess I'm back. <laughs> yeah, that that was pretty. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's pretty good. A pretty good sign. Don't need a crop circle for that one. Yeah, no, that that seemed to be uh, very good. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Ciao. Hi, YouTube. Blaine Blaze back here. I'm working on sea bass again. Um, so got some equipment going. I'm gonna ask a few questions, see what we get. I'm also going to bring out an old friend. Recorder, see if I can get anything on this too. Uh, a little bit loud, vehicles nearby. We'll see what we get. Alright. Hello, is there anyone here with me? I'm Blaine, I'd like to talk to anyone that is here. I'm going to take a moment and let you say anything that's on your mind, and I'm going to do a sweep with uh, my mind. I'm not feeling much energy right now, so I'm thinking whatever's here isn't very strong at the moment. Or maybe is residual from ones that are over down the path a bit more, talking to Dad and Joe. Bra, Blue Falcon, whichever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to keep talking though. See if I can get anything, and then I'll move down a bit and see if they can find something somewhere else. I'm just wondering... 
I feel something now. There's something here that's not a human spirit. Would you like to talk to me? I'm not seeing anything here talking to me from this device. I'm gonna check this one, and then I'll leave that one running, and if there's nothing here, I'll move on. So, uh, let's give it a shot. Um, I'm gonna keep talking, though. See if I can get anything, and then I'll move down a bit, see if I can find some, somewhere else. Um, I got this. I wanna talk, get talking to this little device, or this one here. Okay. I'm sure it wasn't me. So that's interesting. Um, I'm going to move down a bit and see if I can get more of a feeling and catch anything else. And we'll see what happens from there. Hey guys, we're here. Uh, we got the K2 set out. Um, so we'll kind of keep an eye on that. At the same time, uh, Broz, you gonna you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh... All right. Raptors on and, and going. All right, put your hand up close so we can. Hello, spirits. Hello, spirits. How you here? Could you move uh, the lights if you're here? Let us know that you're here. A lot of noise right now. Hang on. Yeah, we, we, we have some people leaving. We got a, a bus and a couple of bikes. Okay, they're going. Uh, I'm just trying to volume a bit here. Are there any of the Voyagers around? If the Voyagers are around, oh, boom, check it. Okay, so there's, uh, again, Voyagers, thank you very much for that. Uh, if there's any Voyagers, could you please light that up again? For confirmation. Thank you. All right. That was, oh, thank you very much. Uh, okay, so with the Voyager, do we have any of the Métis with you? Freeze. Freeze? Freeze? Yeah, it gets cold out here. Oh. Uh, and voyagers, I will do. Uh huh. I'm glad you're listening. I'm, I will not insult any of you with my really bad friends. Did you just say tabernacle? They just said tabernacle. <laughs> oh, boom, big hit. <laughs> right to red. Yes, we just said tabernacle. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. okay. Uh, apologies. Merci. 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 Oh man, I cannot remember how to say you're welcome in French. It just went. Benévieux. 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 
Uh, is that close enough? Yeah, thank you. Okay, they were okay with that. Oh, gee. Uh, this dude is at the gate. Comment ça va? Comment tu parles? Monsieur? Did I just hear, hear Etienne? That's what I heard. Am I speaking with Etienne? Uh, Alan? Alan? Alan, okay. Hi, Alan. Alan, all right. Hi, Alan. Je m'appelle Daniel. Je m'appelle Joe. And I apologize for the really bad French accent when I do this. <laughs> they said it's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. I, I pretty much, uh, at the end of my French, unless you want me to say red bicycle and buy a banana. And ask me where the library is. Yeah, that's about it for me. I'll tell you about my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to find a way to sit up here. Right, one sec. Let's just sit here, I guess. For everything that you guys done, for you know, like, like you guys travel thousands of miles battling the worst conditions to do what yeah. you did to uh, well, bring prosperity to us. Thank you. And not only that, a lot of you were pioneers, and, and I appreciate pioneers. Yeah. Any any pioneers that are here that stayed, any voyagers that became pioneers that are here that stayed. Which, which, who, how many pioneers? Are there five? Five. Uh, I'll ask again, pioneers, are there five of you here? Is that the family with the, uh, with the mother, father, two boys and a girl? Yes. Okay, because, because on, on, uh, Thunder Bay Paranormal Cinema, uh -huh. they were talking with, there was, uh, kids, three kids. Three kids. And uh, so they were the pioneer family that settled just up there, right? 
another light up of me. All right. You had a farm. Did you did you have a farm? Oh, were we part of the farmers here? When you came here, did you start a farm? Yes. yes. And it lit too. Okay. Now, if I could ask uh, to Alan, who were, who's with us, what company were you with? Great North. You you were with uh, the, the Northwest Company. Uh, if you were at the Great Northwest, could you light it up, please? Alan? Ah, thank you, okay. thank you. Yeah. To be fair, are there any Hudson Bay people here? Yeah, do we have any Hudson Bay? Because personally, I'm grateful for both. Yes, very much so. Uh, is there any Hudson Bay workers here? Yes? Yeah, okay, so yeah. Yeah, I know that Hudson's big team here, like, our Fort William is a, the North, Northwest Company. Yeah. And they will fight fighting with, Hudson, with Hudson's Bay tooth and nail. Yeah. Well, Hudson Bay did lots in, in uh, Port Arthur. Yeah. The Northwest did lots in Fort William. Yeah. So, yeah, um, the main trading post here was Northwest, and we, and yeah, we were the gateway to the Northwest, so. Well, you know, that's the opinion of a Fort William man. See, the Port Arthur side thinks maybe it was yeah, the Hudson Bay. What I mean is the whole area was considered the gateway to the Northwest. Okay. Just, well, okay. Well, you know, we'll just clarify yeah, this just clarify for the spirits. Yeah, okay. like, we're, like we don't need to restart that Civil War here. Yeah, now. but I didn't want you to get the plot. See, they're laughing. Yeah, as, 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 as much as I'm right, we're not going to get there. No, as much as I'm right. I'm right, right? No, I'm right. No, I'm right. Keep hearing my name. But not from the recordings. Or from the machine. How oh, bloody cool is that? This is the longest disembodied voice conversation I have ever heard. Uh, it's not coming from the speakers, it's not coming from anything that he's got with him, but it is coming from all around him. Uh, this is not something that you see every day and uh, he keeps looking towards it and stuff and then the conversation equals his movement so it's, it's very compelling. I hear like twigs snapping and stuff in the recording. But I don't think it's anything really. Well, I haven't heard anything for it. There's probably bit, things I've been missing. Than that. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I can tell you that it's definitely not coming from uh, any of his equipment. Uh, so it's got to be out of body and it's very, very cool.
Okay, well. I'm gonna end my session here for now. Um, I'm not. The pressure I felt, the unease, is, feels more distant now. I think it moved away from me. Um, I'm gonna head back and inform the other two of what I've felt. I didn't really find much personally, but I'm really good at missing things because I'm so used to everything happening around me that I can't really pick up on significant moments most of the time. There's been a few sessions where I've, I've said, I don't think I've found anything, and that finds a ton of evidence, so that might be the case here. I'm also a little out of practice for my extended leave. So I'm going to head back to the others and uh, regroup. And we'll go from there. Hi. Uh, yep. Yep. Um, now, up the trail over here, they found artifacts from an old uh, native encampment. Was that Ojibwe? No. Was that Iroquois? Iroquois. Iroquois. Uh, okay, so Iroquois... Now the Iroquois would okay. This this is uh, I have to ask because of one of the, the legends around here. Green Mantle was a was an Ojibwe princess. The the, the encampment that was here was that part of the Iroquois that captured her. Yeah, big yes. Okay, people, that went all the way to orange. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. That, that was pretty cool. That was, that was a very good question. Yeah, well, well, congratulations. Just, well, thank you, because they, they, they were camping up on top of the falls, and we you know, to, led them over the falls. Um, to YouTubians, if you're curious about Kegebeka Falls, and the, the, like, just Google the legend of Green Mantle, and you'll get the full story. And they said yes, go ahead and Google it. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm walking back. I figured I'll record just in case I feel anything else on the way back. Um, I'm not as physically capable as I was last time I was on. Uh, my body has weakened a little bit since then. So, I can't do as much physical things as I used to, like running around and standing for long periods of time and such. So I'm going to head back and relax for a little bit. Um... I also don't do well in sunlight and heat. And yes, I realize wearing all black makes that a little bit worse, but it just happened to be what I was wearing when we left the house. Also, most of the things I own are darker colors. I'm really drawn to like the water I can't really go over there right now because there's people there. And obviously I'd be drawn to water because one, I don't like water. Two, I don't like bridges. And three, that's obviously where the most death and damage would have been done from people falling into the water and off the cliff and sliding down the rocks and things like that would definitely cause the most amount of residual energy and possibly even draw other spirits to it because the emotion and energy that was put into those events would um, could potentially draw other spirits and spiritual creatures whether good or bad to help or hinder um, and some neutral that just are curious, I suppose, would be an option as well. That was itchy. Um, okay, I'm almost back to the other two. I'll, uh, I'll regroup with them and see what's going on. Uh, let them know what I found. This last little bit, we're going to let you decide what it says and see what you come up with. No, no, let's just put... I missed, I missed, I missed. Could, Could you, you say that again? Could you repeat Green Bantle as your Ojibwe name, please?
Crow flies. Did you just say crow flies? The crow flies? Can it be translated to that? That's her. That's her. Okay. That's her. Alright, so... So whatever the crow flies would be translated into was her name. Yeah, okay. Meanwhile, we all call her Princess Luna. Right. And crow, and she was called Crow Flies because she was always honest and going in a straight line, right? Like she was very loyal in the honest and straight line. I agree. Yeah. Thanks. And, oh, you're welcome. Yeah. And thank you. She, uh, and like with the crow, being a survivor and being... Yeah. Like, you know, collect whatever it's got to collect. Yeah. Makes sense. That would have been a... Yes. Yeah. Another on the, on the future. And that would have been a very honored name then. Oh, it was. You know? Because that would meant she honored her father. Yeah, well, um, according to the legend. Duh, bam. Yeah, because according to the legend, she saved her people's on the war party by leading them over the falls. Right. So, you know, she she sacrificed her life the life of the people, so. But it, it's, this is why she... Yeah. On point. On, on point. point, someone just said. All right, and like I said, we, we, we lit up almost three hours on that one again. Okay, spirits, we're going to give you a, a few minutes break here. Yes. Yes? Okay. Okay, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much for everything you've given us so far, and thank you for verifying what Thunder Bay Paranormal. Yes, uh, greatly appreciated. Thank you for speaking with us. Uh, do you remember what their names were, the Thunder Bay Paranormal people? Do you remember their names? Yeah, whoa, well, bam. Uh-huh. Spud. Spud, Kim. Kim? Who else? Who's, who, who runs it? Shell. Shelly? Yeah, well, you said, you said Shell and it went to yellow. So Shelly, is that who you're saying? Can you clar clarify if you said Shelly? Yeah, yeah, I heard you said that. Yes, we heard. But could you say it again, please? Thank you. Boom. All right, people, there you have it. All right. The spirits remember. So when you do things nice for them, they remember. Yes. When you do something bad, guess what? They remember. Bam. Mm -hmm. Okay, so people, be good to the spirits. Treat them the way you wish to be treated. Remember, they are people too. And okay? one thing we always say, respect. Respect, respect, respect. Okay? Respect the spirits. We love you, spirits. Very much so. And again, thank yep. you. <laughs> thank thank you. you for being with us again. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. Yeah, we're in communication now. Wow. I've got two words. Disprove that. Thank you. Be right back. All right. So I was mentioning on my recording, I didn't really catch anything on either of the devices I was using, uh, but I it's very likely I missed something. Dad will probably pick some stuff up that I missed, like he usually does every time I'm out recording stuff, because I don't get much with my ears on the recordings. I feel I'm more of a f person who can feel things. And speaking of feeling things, I felt both comfortable and un, like upset, angry, annoyed while I was over there. Like a nature spirit or an elemental is upset about something around here. Uh, it wasn't a strong enough anger to like warrant too much concern, but it's definitely something that you might want to keep an eye on. Okay, I'll, uh, we'll ask while we're sitting here. Um, anything else that uh, you think is worth mentioning at this point? Uh, while I was around, um, I felt a few different spiritual energies. Um, I'd say oh, three or four different ones, and or maybe four or five, but one of them was only one of them was very humanoid. Mm -hmm. The rest didn't seem human, more animal or nature based. Okay, cool. So. There was also a strong incline to go towards the water, not surprising, because of how much energy water has, all the things that would be involved with this particular water, because of the waterfall, the steep cliffs, 
people being dumb around the railings and falling off, drowning, all that stuff. But definitely have energy around the water. So I've been drawn towards that, but I didn't want to go over there because there were people over there. And... Okay. Uh, so you think this place is worth investigating further? Uh, definitely worth coming back.